over the last few years, AI Fund, we've been tuning our process for building stars. Let me just share that with you. Um, so we often start off with a lot of ideas, right? And one example of another startup we built was Bearing AI, which uses AI for smart routing a very large ocean-going vessel. So if you're a ship captain, should you just sail at 20 knots or 22 knots? It's like, who knows? Most ship captains just make some decision. Uh, but because we're able to get global weather um, and, and ocean current data, uh, we can make recommendations to ship captains for how to get there on time and use about 10% less fuel. Um, but this idea was suggested to me by Mitsui, which is a major shareholder in a major shipping line that operates very large ocean-going vessels. And this is one of those things. I would never have thought of this idea myself because you know, like, I've been on a boat, but what do I know about global maritime shipping? But Mitsui suggested this idea to, to, to me. And we then validate the idea, make sure there's a technical feasibility and a market need, recruit a CEO. We are fortunate to find Dylan Kyle, who's a fantastic CEO with one successful exit before. And then we spend three months in our current process building a technical prototype with the CEO and doing deep customer validation. If it survives, uh, two-thirds chance of surviving, one-third chance of not surviving, we then write a check-in that allows the company to build, hire executives, build an MVP, and off it goes to raise additional rounds of capital. Um, and I think uh, this is what we, and so Bearing AI, well, now it's actually, there are now hundreds of ships on the high seas uh, guided by Bearing AI. Ships guided by Bearing AI have sailed 75 million miles, which is the equivalent of going 3,000 times around the planet, and save about half a million dollars in, in, in fuel costs per ship per year, in addition to significant carbon emissions. I think we'll save about, I want to say about a million tons of CO2 emissions um, so far. Um, but, but this kind of idea that, like, what, I would never come up with this idea myself, but I've learned that my swim lane is AI, but when I work with experts in other sectors, there are often these exciting opportunities that are very valuable, but frankly, how many groups in the world are experts in AI and shipping, or experts in AI and relationships? I find that the competition intensity at the application layer is often much lower. And then just one last thing, kind of, you know, just full, full, full disclosure and something that I hope all of you will do too, um, my teams only work on projects that we think move humanity forward. Uh, responsible AI is important, and on multiple occasions, we've killed, and I will continue to kill projects that we may assess to be financially sound, but based on ethical grounds. So lots of exciting opportunities. Um, I think at Stanford, there are lots of great classes you can take uh, in engineering and elsewhere to learn about that AI tech, and then when you find you know, applications, uh, or, or go play at the uh, infra and tooling layer too. I think there are lots of opportunities, but I think there are, what I'm seeing is, um, frankly, my team at AI Fund, we have so many startup ideas. We use a uh, task management software. We use Asana to track this huge list of ideas. And it's actually quite clear to me, there are a lot more good ideas for AI businesses than, you know, people with the skill to work on them at this moment in time. So hopefully there'll be more than enough projects for, for everyone, all of, all, all of you, all of us to work on.